Hello, my name is Dwayne Brassett. I'm a licensed arborist. I'm here to explain with a series of videos a lot about tree care as well as safety. There are some very specific safety procedures that are outlined that have to be used in tree care. One of which is you have to have safety glasses. This is a safety helmet for use in trees and it can be used on the ground, it can be used while climbing as well. This protects your eyes, however, safety standards using this do not mean that you don't have to use safety glasses. You still must use safety glasses beneath this. And you'll see in some of the shots where I am actually doing cutting with this open so my eyes are still protected. These earphones reduce the noise coming to your ears by about 25 decibels. And of course, if something falls on your head, this can protect your head to a point. No matter how safe someone is with a chainsaw, there still exists the possibility that the saw may continue running and hit their leg. These are leg protectors. They're sometimes called ballistic chaps. This is rather thick, and within here is a layer of Kevlar, the same exact material that's used to make bulletproof vests. It'll stop a bullet, and this will go a long way towards stopping a chainsaw from ruining a leg. When you're cutting good sized branches, this is the perfect thing to use. These are called loppers. They'll cut a branch up to about an inch and a half in diameter. For a smaller limb, these are hand pruners. These are an anvil cutting hand pruner. They're very good. This is the anvil cut right here. They're very good for cutting a branch up to about three quarters of an inch, but they won't cut it right close enough on smaller limbs. And this is when you would want to use the bypass shears. These are the shears that cut very much like scissors. They actually are scissors and they're for smaller limbs and they will cut right up next to the branch collar, which is very important for tree health. Here's a handsaw. The unusual thing about this handsaw is whereas a carpentry saw cuts on the push, this saw cuts on the pull, which is really good because we're cutting wet wood usually, and we don't want the saw to wrinkle as we push. Sometimes we want to trim a tree where we need to get up a little bit. And this is a six foot stretch pruner, so we can get about nine feet above ground. Now this one right here is not adjustable. However, this pruner right here works quite well between four feet and 10 feet so one can stretch really high. And you'll be seeing this used as we continue this program. This is a chainsaw. It's designed to cut the tree, the limbs. It can be used for felling smaller trees. The reach with a standard size person is about seven feet off the ground at the very most. And again, I'll caution you, you don't stand on something to make it eight feet or nine feet. We have other tools for that. Another thing worthy of mention is that a chainsaw is designed to be used in, with the trigger wide open. This machine should be used as fast as it can go. There are several reasons for this. One is safety. 
The machine is very stable when it's wide open, and when the chain comes into contact with wood, it tends to penetrate rather than bouncing off. Another thing is, this being an internal combustion gasoline engine, it is cooled by air going into here and coming out after cooling the engine. And when it's wide open, there's a lot of airflow. At no time should a non-professional get off of the ground to do any tree pruning, ever. So what this program is designed for is to show all of the ways that we can prune from the ground. We can get pretty high. This is a regular chainsaw. This is a real honest to goodness chainsaw. And it will cut up to about eight or nine feet in the air. It's called a power pruner. This is also a power pruner, very similar to the one I just showed you, but quite a bit heavier. It's got a bit larger motor. But the beauty of this is that it telescopes out. This extendable pruner can actually cut a limb as high as 15 feet above ground level quite safely. And also with the angle of this, the uh, person pruning is outside the line of fire when the tree limb falls. If you've been looking at gas tanks for a long time, you'll notice that they've changed from the round steel can or maybe the round plastic can to something that looks like this. This is not a design change to be just prettier. This is a very functional change. In order for fuel to come out, this thing is full of fuel, nothing spilling. In order for fuel to come out, the cap has to be lifted, the switch has to be turned to pour, and then the valve has to be depressed, and then it can pour fuel. And when the thumb is taken off of it, it actually automatically snaps back into place. And even without the cap, this will not pour fuel. This is really, really good. It has prevented a lot of fires.